Gina Falcone. I may only be a kid, but I ain't no bedwet and twerp. I take care of myself. Like this one time back in New York. Hey, Ma! Pops! Where is everybody? The rest of the family was in such a rush to get to Coney Island, they left me. Home alone. So it was up to me to protect our house and have a little fun. I was expecting a kid to set cute little traps. This is almost too easy. Easy? You know, when you say that, you really devalue what we do. Yeah, I don't like kitty movies. All that violence. It's so fake. When it comes to violence, I prefer what Petey would call realism. Don't bother begging for mercy. Oh, my poor baby! I'm so... What the hell? Crap. Busted. Gina, how many times I gotta tell you? Not in the house. You're gonna get us all pinched. Anyway, now that we live in the most boring town on the planet, I'm gonna make my own fun. Ma, I'm going out. Don't forget your mittens. Is anyone else concerned that she's... Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Hey, who threw out a thermometer? <gasps> it's a pregnancy tester. Cheech, look at this. What's the little minus sign mean? Oh, it's negative. Means a baby's coming. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. You want another snot in those brat running around? No. Pregnant equals negative. Holy crap, Cookie's pregnant? I can't be a father again. I barely survived the first three. You want my advice? Pretend to be happy about this. Then, when she goes to bed, you skip town like a fucking gypsy. <gasps> There's my beautiful wife. If you was barefoot, this picture would be perfect. Okay, what'd you do? Ooh, was that a kick I felt? No, it was last night's eggplant pump. What's wrong with you? You fall in the shower or something? No, I'm talking about our baby. <gasps> Jimmy, this test is negative. I was a little late and just, you know, wanted to be sure. But I ain't pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. This is the happiest day of my life. Next time I'll pull out earlier so you don't gotta worry. <gasps> don't you move, young lady. That's not mine. It's for a friend. She had a little scare, but everything's fine. Oh, really? What's your friend's name? Sorry, so? Your father found this. If he knew it was yours, he'd slap a chastity belt on you and swallow the key. Lucky for you, I covered for you. Phew, dodged that bullet. Thanks, Ma. Not so fast, Teresa Maria Falcone. We're not done here. Not by a long shot. Will you relax? You should just be glad I'm not pregnant. Now we don't have to guess who the father is. Oh! Think before you talk, Teresa. What are you doing? They're gonna need your measurements down at the nunnery. Hey, McCool, thanks for meeting me. We had a little scare and I'm gonna need some rubbers. A case a week should do. Don't tell God. <sighs> Can't you just buy them at the drugstore? What? You could just walk in and buy them up here? In the old neighborhood, you needed a sit down with Father O'Malley and the doctor's note. I had a connection upstate. One of the first guys to carry the French tickler. Are we finished here, Jimmy? McCool, what gives? Who died? Oh, just my career. A letter intended for my lady friend was mistakenly mailed to Premier O'Shea's office. So slap the mailman around. A fellow civil servant? Never. The problem is the letter contained photos of me. Playfully erotic ones. Oh! oh. When the Premier returns from his trade mission to Las Vegas, I'll be fired or at the very least reassigned to one of Canada's bleaker outposts. 
like Toronto. You ought to text your dirty pictures, like I do. A true gentleman does not text boudoir photographs to a lady. It's a picture of your bing bong. Quit trying to class it up. You're right. There's nothing classy about what I did. But Canada, where all degenerates wind up in Toronto. Poor bastard. You know, if we steal them pitches back for him and save his job, he'll owe us big time. Let's do it. We'll be ass deep in French ticklers. Can you believe she's making me wear an ankle monitor? Be careful what you say with that thing. It has speech recognition. Anything about boys and or sex and you get a shock. Even by mom's standards, it's a bit draconian. My social life is falling apart and you're talking about Star Trek? I'm only allowed to go to school and then straight home. What am I gonna do? Maybe focus on all the great things you can do at school. That's what got me in this mess. No, I mean an after-school club. Club, huh? Photography, full. Drama club, full. Witchcraft for beginners, full. All the good clubs are full. What's future business leaders? I thought it was a recruiting front for the conservative party, but it's just a club where you learn about sales and marketing. Ooh, maybe they'll be cute boys. <laughs> You're late. I told you to come straight home from school. I was doing school stuff. I joined the Future Business Leaders Club. Oh, please, you don't fool me for a second. You're just trying to stay away from here as long as possible. I'll have you know I am full of... What do they call them? Viable Consumer Innovations. You're full of something, all right. Tomorrow, you come straight home from school. None of this phony club crap, you hear me? But, Mom, the one time I'm not lying, and you... End of discussion. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna come up with an idea that's gonna knock your socks off. You wanna knock my socks off? Get your virginity back! <laughs> Gotta think of a product. Show her. Think. 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 God, thinking's hard. And so is this chair. My butt's killing me. Europa. I think I got it. What's going on in here? I'm taking the lead on the O'Shea heist, Jimmy. So what's with these mooks? It's the team. I call them Cheech's Eleven. Minus six. Wait, how many of us are there? Not including me. What's wrong with you? We're stealing some mail, not robbing a casino. Why you always gotta stomp on my ideas? Mainly cause they're insane. But I already gave everybody code names in case we get pinched. This here is Mr. Red. You're a freaking racist. Race ain't got nothing to do with it. Now sit down, Geronimo. This is Mr. Brown, cause he smells like a toilet. All right, Dale, I mean Mr. Red. You're gonna shoot an arrow through the window so I can shimmy up. But I'm terrible with a bow and arrow. I thought you said you was an engine. I, mean, I thought this was gonna be a sex orgy. All right, meeting's over. Cheech, you ain't in charge no more. Well, I had a good run. Today's modern woman faces many challenges, but none compare to the very real problem of BAS, bony ass syndrome. Oh, here we go. Ladies and awkward teen boy, I give you... Hang on. Ass jacks! Whoa! I'd love to get one of those for my girlfriend. If I, you know, had a girlfriend. Hey, this is fun! Now I see why guys like me so much. Teresa, it's great you're applying yourself to something besides boys. But this is the stupidest thing i ever seen. Well, Ma, the stupidest thing you've ever seen is setting the Twitterverse on fire. Who the hell goes on the internet to look for big butts? Judging from Ask Jax's followers, flat-bottom girls with low self-esteem who want to jack up their asses. And a lot of dirty old men. Probably not our target market. Those are my Instagram followers, you idiot. <laughs> Look at all the orders rolling in for Ass Jacks. I never thought I'd say this, but Teresa, you're brilliant. I don't want to rain on your parade, but how are you going to fill 510, 12, 50 orders? Ma, you just don't have any vision. Oh, my vision's fine. 
I see a bunch of kids who think they're gonna make a mint off rubber underpants. But mom, pre-sales like this mean startup capital and- Save it for the shareholders, Mr. Google. <laughs> Teresa, as your IT manager, I recommend myself for VP of Sales and Marketing. Hmm. I'd have to see a resume. Resume. But I stand on my experience. Remember those great ideas I had for Pop's business? What? Like the public transit getaway? What do you mean, exact change? Will you just go? I propose we make a web commercial. Keep this synergy going. I have no idea what synergy means, and that impresses me. You're hired. All right, this will be a cinch. We sweet talk his secretary, get in his office, and grab the envelope. <laughs> Say no more, Jimmy. They don't call me old sugar lips for nothing. Hey, pal, is Premier O'Shea's secretary around? If you mean administrative assistant, that's me. A man's secretary! Aboard! Aboard! <sighs> What's wrong with you? Guys can have lady jobs, it's the 20th century! I got spooked, but this is good. Now that it's a guy, we just rough him up and barge in. In a government building? Are you nuts? We gotta go back to that drawing board. Sounds good. Now I can finish that picture of a duck. Where's my crayons? Our first commercial. I'm so excited. How can you be in a commercial? We're in witness protection. Mom, it's all right. We thought of that. Watch. Hey, girlfriend. Do boys ignore you because you have a small bony ass? Then you need Ass Jacks. With Ass Jacks, you get so many guys, you'll have to beat them off with a stick. In fact, you'll be beating guys off all over town. You can wear Ass Jacks in the club. Shake that thing. Up on charges, wear Ass Jacks to court. Ass dismissed. You can even wear them to church. Bless me, Father, for I have booty. Don't be a jackass. Go to AskJacks.com and order your Ass Jacks now. Now what are you gonna do? You actually gotta make the damn things. Ma, we're already on it. Wow, how'd you do this? Simple, I had a vision and told Petey to make it happen. At first, we considered outsourcing to a Chinese production facility. But then Petey reminded me that they have a terrible Hunan rice recipe. Human rights policy. Whatever. Anyway, as a job creator, I wanted to keep the factory here in the state of Regina. But I crunched the numbers and the labor costs would kill us, so we automated. I gotta say, I'm impressed. This is a hell of an operation you got here. Now, if you'll excuse us, we gotta move some latex butts. <laughs> move it or lose it, toots! Hello! I'm the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and, uh, Nuclear War. We need to get into the Premier's office. Oh, yes, sir. I'll open it right up. Wait a second. How can you be the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and Nuclear War when he's standing right over there? Hello! I told you we should have used Mr. Brown. I got a slide. Talk to you. <gasps> you got one! Straight from the breeder. What a sweetie! I'm gonna call you Minxie. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Where the hell did all this crap come from, Teresa? Who's paying for this? I am. I've been pre-approved for like a zillion credit cards. This is just like with your boyfriends. Have fun now, pay later. Oh, you're just bitter because you never did anything with your life. Excuse me? Never did anything with my life? I raised three kids. Ooh, three whole kids. Talk to me when you raise an empire, Ma. Security! Gina, get your hands off me. Take it easy. You don't want to slip and fall. Repeatedly. Onto my boat. So you're a goon for your sister now. She signs the checks. I got it! What the hell is that? You're supposed to get an envelope. Aw, oh, crap. 
wrong building. I'll go put it back. Where's my stuff? I returned it all. My handbag collection? Returned. My diamond tennis bracelet? Returned. The meat dress I bought off Lady Gaga? Cooked it for dinner. Really? You just made a $20,000 meat sauce. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> I'm trying to teach you about personal responsibility. The ex-stripper mobster's wife is going to tell me, the CEO of Ask Jacks, about responsibility? Do not talk to me like that, young lady. My house, my rules. Well, then, maybe I won't live in your house, you jealous cow. Where are you going? I'm taking my operation overseas. And by overseas, I mean downtown. Go ahead and move out. You're never gonna make it. This town's gonna eat you alive. And your little dog, too. You're gonna come crawling back. You'll see. <laughs> My baby! <laughs> this meat sauce tastes like sweat. Ma? How'd you find me? Ah, oh, right. This is the living room, and this is a room for the Siamese. Your cats have their own room? What cats? The one on the right doesn't actually work here. Popo? Tea. Special blend. What's with the munchkin? That's Popo, my Burmese manservant. He does what you do, only more and better. Teresa, I'm trying to mend fences here. I'm in a condo. There is no fence. What's in there? The Ask Jack's nerve center. Eat it, Koji-san. We're the ones with leverage. Don't make me Fukushima your face. Mom, we're busy in here. <sighs> oh, this tea's tasty. It's a blend of jasmine, oolong, and great white shark semen. Teresa, I know you're mad at me, but I miss ya. I want you to come home. I'll even take off the ankle cuff. Does this mean no more breathing down my neck and getting on my back about boys? We'll work it out. I'll try not to get on your case so much, but there's gotta be some give and take. Oh, it is kind of lonely here at the top. I'll think about it. Hold on, I gotta take this. It's my attorney's. Oh, oh God, I hope she comes to her senses. <laughs> Minxie? Minxie, wake up! Yo, Minxo, up and at him, come on! Oh, great, you killed the freaking dog! Now Teresa will never come home! Hmm. Nah. Sorry, Minxie, nothing personal. Right, you are a jealous cow! But to take it out on poor Minxie? <gasps> you know, my lawyers told me to get legally emaciated. I wasn't gonna do it, but now I am! You're thin enough, young lady! No, wait! Emancipated! It means I'm being freed from ya, like the slaves were in the 60s. You're divorcing me? That's it! Petey, Gina, let's go. Hey, hey, they're still on the clock. Get in the car, now. This is kidnapping. They're my kids. I'll nap them all I want. Ha <laughs> ha, who got the leverage now, Petey-san? <laughs> Here, let me get the rope. How do you do that? Do what? I got it! I can't wait to see them pictures. <laughs> you can't wait to see naked pictures of McCool? What? I like photography. Now we're talking. It ain't a real heist unless you're spilling blood. Crap, it's O'Shea! Ah, oh, me darling. Let me show you the end of me rainbow. Uh -huh. You think they're doing it? Petey. Are you wearing Ask Jacks right now?
right now? No. Good. Then it's safe to sit down. Check the link I sent you. <laughs> the ass jacks are fine. Until you try to sit down. <laughs> o. M. G. <laughs> There's so many lawsuits, I stopped counting. It's over, Teresa. What about my money? If I were you, I'd put on a ball cap and sunglasses and get the hell out of that building quick. Oh, Popo. At least I'll always have you. Actually, my name is Edward and my paycheck bounced. So I ate your dog. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, me darling. Back to Vegas with you. Uh, good morning, Premier O'Shea. Uh, a few days ago, I inadvertently sent you some personal mail. I've come to apologize and beg your forgiveness. Grab it off the desk, boy -o. I'm hitting the showers. Can't run the government covered in body glitter, smelling like a Reno cat house. Stomp and Tom Connors! What are you two doing in here? We was saving your job. You owe us one. Boy, listening to a guy hump all night sure makes you hungry. Wanna get some sausage? Why are you wet? It's not even raining. You were right, Ma. I'm crawling back, broke, homeless, and unemployed. Go ahead, say I told you so. I think you learned a bigger lesson than I ever could have taught you. I sure did. I learned if I'm gonna take a pregnancy test, I should do it at the mall bathroom. That's what you got from this? Nothing about being responsible or thinking before you do stuff. Uh, nope. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm just glad you're back. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's good to be home. La 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 la